rocket is a rocket. But in, uh, uh, behind the rocket, the whole India would have uh, worked. Not one person's work. We are as close to moon as any other country of the world. We could establish ourselves as a space power. Uh, this is a completely homegrown technology and uh, we Indians can be proud of that. Every future has a past and Chandrayaan-3 also has a past. The building blocks of India's latest finest tower in space exploration were laid nearly two decades ago. ISRO had been making routine space flights to place satellites in the Earth's orbit. And with the space around Earth conquered, it was time to set sights on India's only satellite. The moon has fascinated the human race since time immemorial. From cave writings to the Vedas, the lunar attraction has been unbreakable. And 21st century India is carrying this romance forward. There was a committee with uh, Dr. George Joseph as chairman appointed to study the feasibility of sending a spacecraft to moon and having some observation uh, about the moon. And later, in 2004, uh, the project report was submitted and it was uh, Prime Minister Vajpayee who approved this uh, project report uh, called Chandrayaan-1, uh, that is the first mission to moon. Here the objective was to have a remote sensing satellite orbiting around the moon and collecting data on the about the surface, the mineral deposits and so on. Prime Minister was the minister in charge of our department. We have presented this idea that using the PSLV rocket, we can take a satellite to the moon. He asked the question, what are you going to do? Uh, I said that we are going to have a, a, a very fine observation of the lunar surface, close pictures, and from there detect a lot of valuable scientific data. His first reaction was, yes, it's a good proposal, but moon looks so beautiful from the ground. But if you approach it close to it and look at it, I don't know what is in store for you. But probably that uh, intuition or uh, the foresight uh, turned out to be true. The moon has no atmosphere. So in an Earth-like situation, the atmosphere leads to deacceleration and velocity comes into play. But this is not an option available while landing on the moon. So space agencies have to use rocket engines in a precise manner to compensate for the lack of gravitational resistance and virtually cradle the spacecraft like a baby to bring it to the lunar sphere of influence. This operation involves a lot of sensors, lasers, uh, things like radars, software and cameras. Mm -hmm. 